Hey, hey, welcome to this video. If you're new to this channel or new to the series, I'm essentially going to show you some everyday fits that have actually been wearing out into the world. Now, I really don't go out that much. I've been going into the office a little bit more, but I have had a chance to wear some of my most recent pickups and also rotate through kind of the backlog of my sneaker collection. So it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, but this was pretty fun to put together. I think there's a lot of good variety here for some spring and summertime fits. And with these interesting and everyday fits, I've also had a chance to wear some grail pickups that I got in recently. If that sounds interesting, let's get into some fits. So for the first fit here, we have the New Balance by 50s in white and neutral gray. These are customized a little bit to where I painted the ends in an off-white color. They swapped the white laces for some off-white laces, and then also painted the back mesh of the heel gray. And moving up from there, we have some Dickies double knees and a nice straight fit. And then up top, really nice fitting, oversized white graphic tee from Uniqlo. And on the details, some silver rings, and also a thin gold chain up top. So overall, just a very basic, essentials, everyday fit. And with that, the 550s as a model are one of the most versatile, but still interesting sneaker models of the last few years. And with a model as versatile as that, it's very easy to pair with a lot of different things. But for the fit here, also a very versatile and really easy to wear fit with black trousers and a white shirt. So yeah, very simple everyday fit with a very easy and everyday sneaker. And with this one, I actually did layer up with a plaid work jacket from a brand called Banks Journal. And with the jacket, I like how the jacket becomes that statement piece because of the plaid pattern, but it's still neutral enough to just kind of blend cohesively both with the colorway, the model of the sneakers, and also go with the workwear vibe of the trousers, but still let the graphic of that Uniqlo tee poke out for a little more detail. Overall, I like the relaxed nature of the styling of this fit, and honestly, white and gray 550s, it's really hard to go wrong with whatever you choose to put together with this sneaker. And next up, a pair of sneakers that I've definitely been meaning to wear a little bit more, the Amman Manir Jordan 1s. This is one of the few Jordan 1 highs that I think looks okay with shorts on a shorter person like myself. I think that because it's a mainly white sneaker and that the sock liner in the ankle area is a nice burgundy rather than black, I think it makes for a nice transition from the sneakers to the ankle area without looking too awkward like a lot of high top sneakers look with shorts and no show socks. But for this fit, also very simple, very everyday. We have a thrifted Patagonia shirt up top, nice graphic details on the shirt and also on the back. And for the bottoms, we have some cuff chino shorts that are a collaboration between JW Anderson and Uniqlo. Overall, this is just a fit I'm going with all throughout summer. Very simple white tee or any neutral tee up top, some nice dark khaki chino shorts that sit above the knee and are cuffed up nicely with that detail and design from JW Anderson. So if you're new to sneakers or have been collecting a long time, I think that the popularity of the Jordan 1s is relevant because they're so easy to dress up and also dress down. In this case, dressing them down with as casual of a fit as you can get but yeah, very simple fit. Just happy I had the chance to wear the Amo Manier Jordan 1s again. Moving on to another simple fit, but with some very complex sneakers, if you even consider them sneakers. On feet, we have the Salehi Bambere Pollux Crocs in the Crocodile colorway. I know these are the least popular of the Salehi Crocs, but to me, they just work together really well. With such a funky silhouette, I think the really bright green just really works well with that. And makes just such an interesting sneaker that is really fun to wear when you're getting tired of all the neutral tones and all the neutral colors, and they give me a really nice break from all the classic models that have been retroing since I've been collecting sneakers. So it's a nice break from things like Jordan 1s, from 550s, from Jordan 3s. It's just something that's new and interesting that I think breathes a lot of life into the sneaker space. But with the Pollux Crocs, I really wanted to go with that hiker vibe, but also keep things pretty casual. And to do that, for the bottoms here, I went with some hiker pants, and up top, just a nice teal tee, also a collaboration from JW Anderson and Uniqlo. For this fit, I love how the pants break up the really bright colors in the tee and also the Crocs, but I also love how the teal plays off of that same green vibe that comes from the crocodile colorway of the Crocs. And overall, I think it just works nicely to kind of play with that more casual slash hiker inspired aesthetic of the Pollux Crocs. But definitely with a sneaker as loud as the crocodile colorway, I'd highly recommend trying to pair this with another bright color, but also some neutral pieces to kind of bring everything all together in a cohesive fit. And on to the next fit here. Also really happy I had a chance to wear the Joe Fresh Goods 9060s in the Penny Cookie Pink colorway. With this fit, just very relaxed, very summer inspired. Up top, we have this great linen Uniqlo open collar shirt 
from actually their women section. So it has a nice cropped cut to it. And at the bottoms here, we have some men's Uniqlo white fitting tapered pants in a nice dark khaki. And for this one, just a bunch of neutral tones, but I love the cream of the shirt and how it's a nice refreshing pop up top for this fit. And at the bottom, the dark khaki of the pants makes for a nice transition into another bright and colorful piece, which I think is definitely the centerpiece for this fit in the Penny Cookie Pink 9060s. But I love this one because the 9060s were very intimidating to style at first, but throwing them on with this fit, I think it shows that they can go with very casual, very relaxed pieces, and you don't have to wear anything that's too technical or too athletic. Overall, I love the color palette of this fit, and I love how the colors of the Penny Cookie Pink 9060s just pop at the bottom in a nice bright turquoise, and also, of course, the Penny Cookie Pink. Up next for the sneakers, just one of the best general releases that Jordan Brown has and I think will have put out for this year. We have the military black Jordan 4s at the bottom. Just a great new take on a classic colorway of the military blue Jordan 4s. But with that, I really just wanted to go with a simple black and white fit to go with the black and white colorway of the sneakers. So at the bottoms, we have some three quarters Uniqlo smart pants, and up top, we have a Zara graphic tee tucked in, just with some interesting graphic details on the chest that, again, I think goes with that white and black contrast that is seen on the military black Jordan 4s. And at the very top, just a wash black cap from Stacey. Overall, I think I just wanted to go with a smart casual look with the Jordan 4s, just because they can be athletic, technical, and more in that streetwear realm, and I really just wanted to dress them up a little bit. And honestly, with a white and black fit, it's very hard to mess up the sneakers, especially when you're going with one as versatile as the military black Jordan 4s. I just love how the black outline graphics of the shirt play so nicely and cohesively with the black contrasting details on this pair of the Jordan 4s. If you're still watching this, thank you so much for your continued support. We are now moving on to a grails section. So first grail pair that I copped off of a shock restock on the Off-White website, we have the black and royal Off-White Jordan 2 lows. And to me, this is just such an underrated sneaker model and collaborative colorway. There are just so many great details on the sneaker, and the quality is just really unmatched compared to all the other sneakers in my collection. For Jordan Brand and Virgil, they just did such an excellent job with this sneaker all around. From the story behind it to the little details of the mismatched signatures on this colorway and the white and red colorway to the hang tag to the super thick cuts of leather on the sneakers and the super plush ankle area this is just one of my favorite pickups to date ever and with that because they're jordan 2 low i think they're actually very versatile in terms of how you can style them and in this case i just wanted to go for a kind of a dorky preppy inspired fit for the socks, we have some Pro Mounds and Quarter Socks, and black chino shorts from Amazon, and a slim fitting tucked in graphic tee from Uniqlo. And with the shirt tucked in, it's going for kind of a dorky slash like, I want to even say e-boy vibe, but this is definitely inspired from some of the fits that I've seen people wear with Doc Martens, and I feel like the black and varsity Jordan 2 lows just work really nicely in, in place of a pair of derbies like the Doc Martin 1461s. So yeah, to me, just a really fun fit, and just again, super happy that I got a chance to wear one of what I would consider to be a grail sneaker. And moving on, another grail pickup in the off-white Jordan Tilos, but this time in the other colorway, in the white and varsity red. So again, same thing goes for this colorway. Just amazing details, the quality of the materials on the sneakers is just above anything else in my collection. And one of my favorite details, if you'll notice, on the white and red pair, Jordan's signature is actually in a different location than the black and royal pair. It's such a cool detail, and I love how the colors play together in not only the off-whites, the grays, and the reds, but I love how the black pops on the mainly white base. From Jordan's signature on the lateral side, to the off-white stamp on the medial side, to the black laces and the white shoelace text details on the shoelaces themselves. Just overall, a grail sneaker to me, both an art piece and also something that's wearable and functional in a fashion sense. And I've spent so much time talking about these sneakers, but before the pieces here, we have some Oakenfort twill pants and a nice off-white, Uniqlo peanuts and cause collaboration on the oversized tee up top, and of course, my Supreme Utility tote. Again, a lot of times I take inspiration from the sneaker colorways onto the fit, so with that same theme, going with a white base in the pants, and also black contrasting details up top, I think the black just pops really nicely on all the pieces, with that kind of off-white base of the pants, and also the off-white midsole and the white leather base of the sneakers. And last but not least, maybe one of the best sneakers of all time, 
Amon Manir Jordan 3s. To be honest, before I got this pair in hand, I always thought they were a little overrated because they looked a little too simple to me. But now with them in hand and actually styling fits, I think that simplicity is the beauty of this collaborative Jordan 3. The colors, the details, the materials, everything is just top-notch, high quality, and honestly one of the easiest sneakers to wear ever. I think with all the fits in this video, if I threw on the Amon Manir Jordan 3s, I think I'd look reasonably stylish with every single one of them. I feel like for this Jordan 3, the quality of materials is only unmatched by the previous off-white Jordan 2 lows, and I love how it's just a clean and classy take on the Jordan 3, and there's just such a great collaborative story behind them as well. But with the Amon Manir 3s, we have two pieces of saying already. Again, that Uniqlo linen open collared shirt up top, and then the Uniqlo smart pants cuffed a little bit higher to be three quarters length. Overall, the fit just wanted to go with the same vibe of the sneakers. I actually wore this to a wedding recently, and I think that's the perfect label for how these pieces all work together. It's a summertime wedding fit, 100%. So with that, thanks so much for joining me on my fashion and sneaker journey. It was really fun to kind of look back at some of these fits, and I love how a lot of these came out, and just how I was able to style and wear a lot of my favorite sneakers, including these three grails that I showed you just now. So thanks again so much for watching. If you're new here, like and a sub go a long way. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one.